by the power of Grayskull! Hello friends, I'm Indian Toy Gyani back again with one more exciting toy review and this time I'll be reviewing Battle Armor He-Man from Origins line made by Mattel Creation. Up until 2024, I wasn't planning on collecting any of Motu Origins until the big $5 Bonanza in dollar store. Here in Canada, some of the Origin toys are getting sold for 5 bucks. I was lucky enough to get Skeletor and He-Man. So let me quickly give you a view of packaging and then we will crack it open. Every 80s kid is familiar with He-Man. But since I was 90s born, I wasn't very fond of He-Man. This battle armor He-Man was released by Mattel in 1984. And in 1986, it was re-released by Leo Mattel India. I like this version more because vintage line had limited articulation and quality wasn't really that great. So finally he is out. This is our battle armor He-Man and his accessories comes with this comic and instructions. This deluxe set comes with extra hand. He will hold both his weapons, his sword of power and battle axe. There is a storage for one of the weapons. It's really nice design. When we talk about the facial expressions, they are absolutely spot on on both heads. One with a little bit of angry uh, gesture and another one is vintage inspired. On his chest, there is a gimmick. It's actually a drum inside where we see different damages as we roll it. And because of this, he got his name Battle Armor He-Man or Battle Damaged He-Man. Honestly, I have no complaint about him. One thing I love about Origins line is that we get freedom to swap the parts with other figures. Not in this party. <laughs> no. Let's get the final look of lightning effect of sword. It's translucent and looks really cool. So there you have it folks, if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to see another toy review. Until then, it's Indian Toy Gyani signing off. By the power of Grayskull. And I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe.